Mate, I came from this counselling... I had this counselling session yesterday, yeah? I went, Tiff, I'd quite like it if your friends just sort of backed off a little bit. And she went, well, it's your friends. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? She goes, Jamie came up to me at your event and said that you want to shake her to wake her up and smell the coffee, that I'm like a, a shit guy. I don't think I but said... Mate, come on, you're one of my best mates. Yeah, you know but I, mean? I don't think... No, I, I looked over at you and Tiff and I went, yes, my boy. Taking Tiff to one side, being a good lad. Mm -hmm. She's sending me down the river. That makes her sketch out and be like, right, it's going to push me over the edge. But what do you want me to say then next time? Well, you do, I don't know, but just don't so you, say so you, that. So you don't want me to say the truth? Which you've said to me in the past as well. She doesn't even like you that much. Like, you're my friend. Now you're attacking different areas and things, which is stupid, because you're now it's making yourself sink lower than you already look. I don't look. mean to, mate. It's just yeah, she doesn't Yeah, but you're making yourself you. You sink lower. You don't know her, so why do you do that? don't say stupid if things like that when it's But pointless. if you don't know each other, then why do you do it? Imagine if I went up to Frankie, okay, and I went, Frankie, she calls me every other day and tells me that he doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore and he's bored of it and he is terrified of you. Imagine if I went up to her and said that. I would never do that to you because you're my best mate. Right, this conversation's finished. That. I would never do that to this you. This conversation's done. You can fuck off out of my office. Really? Yeah, you can fuck off right away. Why? Office. What have I done to you? Get out of my office. What now. have I done to you? Fuck off. What have I done to you? Goodbye. What have I done to you? you all of you have Sam, done is attacked me. Fuck off. Think about what you said. Think of how I said to your girlfriend to try and help it. Saying Sam's think... a prick, basically. I didn't say Sam's a prick. Sam's a, a, saying you should break up with Sam. I want to shake you, is Sam, what you actually said. You can go. You fuck off. Because you know you're wrong. Bye, mate. Because you know you're fucking wrong. Literally, <laughs> Jake. When you flirting with a girl, that was bad. Seriously. Look, I'm not defending what I did, and actually, like, when I spoke to Jamie and a proud look, that is, like, mate, as a brother, look at the facts, look what you've done. I was like, OK. But the thing is, though, you shouldn't need someone else to tell you it was wrong. You should, the instant you did it, you should have been like, oh, what have I just done? I have a girlfriend. But you didn't. OK, fine, but... I mean... And, like, the fact now that you're not even saying anything, like... I don't know, you're just... You're almost, like, like numb kind of thing. I fucked up. I played my part. I shouldn't have done that thing with the Mimi thing. But I don't want that to be a catalyst. I don't want that to be like a trigger and just blow but everything. It has been. Seriously, like it so, shows such a lack of respect for, on, from you to me. I would never disrespect just disrespect you, and it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. I, I to, as I said, it was a total lack of respect, and I'm sorry. And it was stupid. And I. I just don't get it. I think that if you really cared about me, you would have shut it down the second all of this stuff happened, whereas I was the one who had to shut it down. What do you mean? You were, like, blushing when she said you were hot. Like, that's... I just fucking get... weird. You should have been, like... Maybe be more, have more respect for Olivia. She's standing right here. You think that one thing was... Is a dumpable offence? Yeah. Yes, I do, actually. Really? Yes. I mean, do you want me to go on my knees and beg or, like... Do no, I don't want you to... Don't, I feel like you're doing this because you think I want you to. I want you to do this because you know it's the right thing to do. And I, that's the problem, I've and said, I, that's why this that's isn't right working. To, of course I've said it's the right thing to do, and I, I've already said... <laughs> How do you honestly think that makes me feel? See, even now, Fred, you're not saying anything. I just can't Look, deal to with be honest, I... You can't deal with it. Well, then, OK, then that just says everything, doesn't it? I don't know. I think the fact that you don't have much to say says a lot about the situation, and I think we should call it a day.